Hello all, welcome back to the lecture series of Matplotlib and today we will be discussing about scatter plots. Scatter plots are very common in practice because of their efficiency in determining the relationship between two continuous variables. Scatter plots can show if there exists a correlation between two continuous variables and if the correlation is positive, negative, or there is no correlation. They can also uh, depict the minimum, maximum, and outliers in the data. We will be discussing different types of scatter plots by customizing them, and we'll be also discussing the modification of scatter plots, which is called bubble plots. So let's move forward. I have imported pandas and numpy, and the, the way we import matplotlib is import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. I have created some list of colors and the data itself, and we will be uh, starting with this data and then we'll move to a CSV file. Okay, so how do we plot a scatter plot? So plotting a scatter plot is the same as calling plt.scatter x comma y, and then we call plt.show. Okay, so here is my scatter plot. Now let's just customize it. Let's just customize it. I'm going to create a new scatter plot for every customization I make into the scatter plot. So let's say, first of all, let's label the axis. How we label the axis? plt.x label is for the x, x axis and plt.y label, let's say y. And then we have our axis labeled. Okay. So let's say I want to change the color. The default color of matplotlib is blue. Let's say I want to change the color of with my own choice. So I have a list of colors, hex underscore color, and uh, you can, I, I will slice any of the color I want. So how can I do that? So the color, uh, we can change the color with the help of color parameter. Color is equals to hex underscore color. And then I pass four. So basically that way you can uh, change the color. So let's just say now these dots you are seeing, basically these are the data points, X comma Y in the form of X comma Y. Let's say you want to increase the size of these dots. These dots are basically called markers. So let's just increase the size of these markers. So how to increase the size of this markers? We, go, we are going to use a parameter, S parameter, and then I'm going to pass an integer value, let's say 100. So as you can see, the dots are increased now. The dots are increased. You can you can pass any value you want, but the larger value you pass, the, the larger the circles will be. So now let's say we customize these markers as well. So I'm going to put a edge color on these markers and I'm going to reduce the transparency of these markers. So how do we do that? In order to add a edge color, add an edge color to the uh, to the markers we use edge color parameter and then i'm going to put the edge color as black and then to reduce the transparency of the markers we can do alpha alpha is the parameter which uh, controls the transparency zero being more uh, zero being proper transparent and one being opaque so i'm going to do seven so it 0 0.7 it is 70 percent transparent so as you can see I have reduced the transparency and I've added the edge color. Now it's look pretty much uh, presentable. So what all we can do with scatter plots? Let's just say I want to introduce a third variable in my scatter plots with the help of colors. So I'm going to color my markers. I'm going to color my markers uh, on the basis of a third variable before moving on to that. Let's let me tell you there are different kinds of markers you can choose. Okay, so different type of markers we can choose for scatter plots are so the marker is current the current marker is circle so which is O which is O so the current marker is circle. Let's say you want a plus marker so you just write plus over here and then you will have plus marker. Now let's let's just say you want a marker with the shape of a diamond. So you write capital D, you write capital D. So you have a shape of a diamond. And let's just say you want a marker. Let's just say you want a marker with upper triangle. So you write the carrot sign, the carrot sign. So you'll have the upper triangle. 
Now, if you want lower triangle, let's just say you want lower triangle now. So for that, you can also do, uh, you can pass V. You can pass V. So you will have the lower triangle. Now, let's just say you want a star marker. So it is as simple as saying uh, marker is equals to star. So we'll have star marker. So that way you can have many different markers. So there are a lot of, a uh, lots of, and tons of markers available in Matplotlib and the link to them will be in the description below and the data I will be using in this video, it will be also be available in the description with the notebook. So that's how we can actually arrange the markers. Now let's just say, let's just move to the CSV file now. So let me just import that CSV file. Let me just import that CSV file over here. So I'm going to run it. So auto.head, I'm going to see the first five rows. So I have these CSV file. So let's just say I want to see the relationship. If there is a positive correlation between MPG and displacement, MPG stands for miles per gallon. So let's just say I want to see the correlation or basically any, uh, basically a trend. So how do we do that? PLT dot scatter, PLT dot scatter. Uh, there are two ways we can do this. Auto, you can slice the column like this. Auto MPG, then auto displacement. And uh, then you have to label the axes. PLT dot X label is MPG. PLT dot Y label is displacement. And then we do PLT dot show. Then we do PLT dot show. Okay, I spelled it wrong. Okay, now. So as you can see, as you can see, the dots are going downwards. As you can see, as the MPG miles per gallon increases, the displacement decreases. As miles per gallon decrease increases, displacement decreases so it is a perfect example of negative correlation it is a perfect example of negative correlation now let's customize this plot as well so i want the edge color edge color to be let's say k and uh, then what i want i want the color to be hex underscore color let's just say i want the color two so I have added the edge, edge color, I have added the color as well. So now let's just, I was talking about incorporating a third variable. So let's just say I want to increase, I want to change the size of the dots of the markers. I want to change the size of the markers on the basis of a third variable, on the basis of a third variable. So what we can do, I'm going to pass acceleration. I'm going to use acceleration as my third variable. And on the basis of acceleration, I'm going to change the size of the markers. So how do we do that? There is a parameter S and we, we pass the acceleration column into this parameter, into this parameter. So as you can see, where acceleration is low, the dots are very small and the, where acceleration is large, the dots are quite uh, larger as comparatively larger. You can also control the size of these. Let's just say the minimum, you want to change the minimum size and the maximum size. You can, pa uh, you can pass a range. Sizes is equals to, I'm going to pass a tuple, 50 to 200. So the minimum size of the marker will be 50 and the maximum size will be 200. And accordingly, it will change. So as you can see now, this is known as a bubble plot. This is a modification of scatter plot. And this is known as bubble plot. So basically uh, what is happening over here, the dots, there are three variables in this scatter plot. One is MPG, one is displacement, and one is acceleration. So basically what is acceleration showing? Acceleration, uh, the size of the dots are showing the acceleration. Size of the dots are showing the acceleration. Smaller dots corresponds to a lower acceleration and larger dots corresponds to larger acceleration. Now. Let's just say you want to incorporate another variable on the basis of color, on the basis of color. So uh, we can pass a list of colors. We can pass a list of, uh, uh, sorry, we can pass a sequence of colors. We can pass a sequence of colors 
and one more thing guys uh, the s input the input we, which we will give to the s parameter should be equal to should be equal in length in terms of x and y should be equal in length in terms of x and y and the same goes for color the same goes for color parameter that is the new parameter which is c so c is equals to i'm going to use uh number of cylinders number of let's just say horsepower i'm going to color on the basis of horsepower so auto horsepower and uh, then i'm going to add a color map then i'm going to add a color map there are different color maps and obviously the link to them will be in the description so you are uh, the uh, one of my favorite color map is blues one of my favorite color map is blues okay so i did a mistake okay sorry okay so supply c argument or color argument but not both okay sorry we cannot pass color argument i forgot it yeah so as you can see this is a bubble plot we have added almost four variables now we can also add a color bar to it we can also add a color bar to it to show our viewers what is the color showing what is the color showing so how to add a color bar color underscore bar equals to plt dot color bar plt dot color bar and then i'm going to add a label to the color bar color underscore bar dot set underscore label and the what is the color bar showing the color bar is showing the horsepower the color bar is showing the horsepower okay i did one color bar has no attribute color bar oh sorry mm. my mistake typos too many typos so yeah so now the color color bar is visible to us and it is very clearly visible the darker colors corresponds to the higher horsepower and the lighter colors corresponds to lower horsepower now as the mpg increases miles per gallon increases the horsepower decreases and displacement also decreases the horsepower decreases and displacement also decreases for lower miles per gallon we have higher horsepower and higher displacement so there is so much information in this graph we can also increase the size of this graph by plt dot figure fix size equals to 8 comma 8 so that way we can increase the size of the graph as well so if you want your x axis to be long and y axis to be long you can uh, do like this so this way we have the color bar now let's just say this is an example of negative correlation now let's just find out an example of positive correlation so let me just draw another scatter plot for horsepower and displacement horsepower and displacement so i'm going to draw a uh, plot it from the very start and i'm going to show you another way of writing the scatter plot statement plt dot scatter on the x axis i want displacement on the x axis i want displacement and on the y axis i want horsepower and from where these columns are going to come they will be from the auto mpg data set and the variable in which the data is stored is auto so you have to mention you can mention like this you can mention like data is equals to auto and then plt dot show plt dot show now this is a, as you can see uh, there is no label to it let me just for first add the labels uh, x label is displacement and plt dot y label is horse power plt dot y label is horse power so as you can see as the displacement increases horse power also increases as the displacement increases horse power also increases this is an example of positive correlation as one quantity increases other quantity also increases so this is an example of positive correlation now let's customize it again uh, so what all we need to do let's just add a alpha 0.7 that is the transparency and then edge color edge color equals to black and then i'm going to add a sequence now in this in this scatter plot i'm going to choose a size i'm going to choose the size is to be let's say uh, weight i'm going to 
change the size of the markers on the basis of weight column. And now you have mentioned data equals to auto. So you just have to write the column name and sizes. Obviously you have to mention uh, the lower bound and the upper bound. The lower bound is basically the ranges 50 to 200. So as you can see, again, we have arranged the size of the bubbles on the basis of weight. And let's just add now uh, another color bar. Let's just add another color bar. So how do you add a color bar? Let's just say we can add a color bar on the basis of um, some, let's just say NPG, miles per gallon, miles per gallon, C equals to MPG. And then we add a color map. Now there is another color map uh, you can use, which is basically reds. So you write reds. Yeah. So as you can see, and let's just add a color bar to it again. Color underscore bar equals to plt dot color bar. And then we give a label to our color bar so that we know what it is showing. Set underscore label uh, and it is showing NPG. So as you can see, Higher MP MPG corresponds to lower displacement and lower horsepower. Higher MPG corresponds to lower displacement and lower horsepower. Lower MPG, lower miles per gallon corresponds to higher displacement and higher horsepower. Higher displacement and higher horsepower. Again, you can increase the size of the figure. Again, you can increase the size of the figure by let's just say 10 comma 8. So, this way you can draw different type of scatter plots. So what all we understood in this video, we have understood what are the different type of markers we can use, what are the different type of customization we can do with the scatter plots and what is a color bar and how we can actually incorporate uh, the size of the markers, how we can change the size of the markers on the third variable, how we can actually change the size of the um, uh, sorry, color of the markers on the basis of another variable. So these are the very basic things that we learned in this video lecture. And one more thing we can use is basically the different inbuilt styles, different inbuilt styles. So basically in order to see what all styles are available in matplotlib, you can just type plt.style.available, plt.style.available. So as you can see, these are the uh, inbuilt styles which are available and in order to use any of these style you have to write plt dot style dot use and then you have to pass any of the name let's just say I pass c bot and then you sh shift enter so the moment i run these graphs now the style will be c bond the style will be c bond as you can see and now let's just say uh see uh, the style is really impressive and presentable and uh, you can always customize you can always use different style to customize your scatter plots let's just say our uh, latest scatter plot what it looks like with the new style so yeah so this is the way we can customize our scatter plots and we can create beautiful and efficient scatter plots so that's it for the video thank you so much please do like and share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much have a great day